हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू चैनल टुडे इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एच पी स्मार्ट टैंक प्रिंटर वाईफाई सिग्नल्स आर ब्लिंकिंग प्रिंटर इज इन सेटअप मोड सेम लाइक इफ यू बाय एनी न्यू प्रिंटर एच पी स्मार्ट टैंक फाइव एट जीरो फाइव एट फाइव फाइव एट वन सो हाउ टू सेटअप वाईफाई कनेक्शन विद योर राउटर और हाउ एंड हाउ टू एनेबल वाईफाई डायरेक्ट टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू स्टे विद मी एंड वॉच दी कम्प्लीट वीडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू एक्सेस फ्राम योर मोबाइल फोन App Store, and you have to download. There is a new HP application. You have to download this. Okay. Uh, I will type. I will type HP Smart. I will type HP Smart or HP. And you will see this is a new application. You have to install this application HP. It's already installed in my phone, so I will just click on it. Oh, it's need update, so I will click on update. It will update fast because I have 4G connection. So today we will teach uh, you uh, how to connect this printer with our Wi-Fi router and how to enable wireless direct. Now I'm going to open. We have to use HP Smart or HP application to configure uh, this printer with our wireless router. Okay, it needs connection. Let's try. Okay, it will open like this, and you can see in the up up upward you will see on the upper bar it's showing that there is a new printer detected. we have to uh, touch on this option and it's now getting connection uh, getting connected with our wifi router now it's uh, keep keep searching the available networks so i have to connect my network according to your network i uh, you have to select your network and you have to enter the password of your wifi router i will enter my wireless password Okay, here you. I will press continue. Now it's showing message obtaining the IP address. It will take a time less than one minute. It will configure straight away. So just keep waiting. We have to wait for this option getting the IP address from the router. Meanwhile, we have to connect our smartphone also with the same router. IP address received finishing connections and you can see on the printer screen wireless direct also enabled automatically in case it 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 does not enable on your printer you have you have to enable it manually while pressing the paper button and print, uh, wireless buttons uh, both together it will uh, enable the wireless direct so let it complete finishing connections okay it's asking me reconnect the device this device to your network okay you have to connect this phone to my wireless okay we have to go to wireless i will connect my phone with the same router yeah, here we go three to one now i will access access again application detecting printers even we can uh, okay it's back to printer connected to printer connected to wifi press continue sorry for inconvenience it's processing now this printer has been connected successfully with the router and you can see the signals are stable now before it was blinking now it's stable and this is a sign of wireless direct you can disable it and enable it while pressing this both button the paper button and wireless button together if i press both again look it will disappear disappear i will press again wireless button paper button and it's appeared again the wireless direct is enabled skip this settings press done and now here skip every option the printer has been added in the application so meanwhile we have to see the wireless direct is working i will connect my wifi with wireless direct also is connected if you want to get the password you have to press i button it will print for you the information page that contains the password 
So I already connect my printer with the Wi-Fi. So all settings are saved uh, already. So now uh, we have to add printer again. If we will see, set up a new printer. Printer is already added. No need to worry. Just we have to set up incomplete. Finish the printer setup. We will finish it. It's processing. Like alignment page and other options you can find here. But the main purpose of this video was to connect this printer with your Wi-Fi router and wi uh, enable wireless track. So accept all op uh, settings here. It asking you to accept the all uh, information uh, like uh, terms and conditions. Here is asking to update automatically or manually. I will say optional manually we will update. Press apply. It's processing again. Skip printing page. You can print. Click on print to test wireless uh, through wireless printing. Printer is working. But I will skip this option. Skip printing page, and I will press on continue. And also, it's asking me to firmware update available. Let's dismiss it. So, process has been completed successfully. And if you have any other question, you can ask in the comments. So, meanwhile, I print anything from. Uh, my phone I open the picture we we'll go on print with HP Here is okay let's print from the phone I will click on here here are option for print documents and print photos okay this is the picture that i will print click on that option here and move up you will find print option in the down click on print and no printer is detected click here and get your printer connected or maybe it will not find the printer here so you have to print through hp application here is a hp application is appeared in the in the end i will click here and now just i will click on print so we have to wait on that screen until it the uh, power light start blinking and printer will start printing the page okay it's initializing and it's it's, uh, it's ready to print it will take a bit you can see it's printed the document from our smartphone so all this same process will apply on all hp smart tank printer models okay like if there is a new model hp smart tank 580 585 you have to follow the same steps to configure your wireless this is the this is the paper that we print if you have any other question you can ask down in the comments that's it for now subscribe bye